My good pal Michael White is here tonight. Michael, thank you for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. Michael's been a little under the weather. He started wrestling two or three years ago and had a little sinus surgery. I'm glad he's here. Uh, he and I wrote, we wrote this song a while back and uh, when we were looking for titles for this record, uh, I don't know that this one just completely jumped right out there, but um, I definitely felt like it was one of the better songs I've written in the last couple of years and uh, I was uh, hoping that it would fit this treatment, uh, this type of little record uh, well and I think it did. As my brother Andy said the other day, I thought it was well put, it's the beautiful irony of a, power, a pawn shop, you guys. This is what this one's called. This is, uh, we'll start you out with the uh, title track, y'all. This is Pistols and Diamonds. Let's go, Mike. How's everybody feel? You doing all right Thursday night here at Dave Lewis? God bless you. I'm going to come have several drinks with you later, so just... Push the chair back. It's keeping... Been known to do that. No. No. Especially here. Uh, the next song that we thought about putting on this record, I, I wrote this song with my good friend Jeff Anders, who lives in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. And, uh, 
just my me compadre. He, he comes down here to write as often as he can. Sometimes I'll go down there and do that too. But uh, he had this idea and this really cool kind of R&B sort of groove. And uh, two or three days later, we were going to write, or I was actually, we were going to write with uh, a young lady named Maggie Rose. Some of you may know of her. She's on country radio now and rocking and doing well. And she's extremely talented and cool. And, so it was the first day she and I had ever gotten together to write, so I kind of wanted to bring something into the, you know, to the right that day. And at the time, she was working with Tommy Mottola. You guys might be familiar with him. He's a Sony New York guy. But uh, there was some question that maybe she was going to do like a R&B kind of pop sort of a record deal. So I was trying to have something for that. You know what I mean? So, so I had this idea closer to you, Jeff and I. We we started working on it, and I brought it in that day. And she liked it, we finished up, finished it up rather, and um, turns out she ended up making a country record, you know? <laughs> so, just your luck. Just, just my luck, man. I poured my Philly so hard out right there and just got shot down. But uh, I guess it was my luck, I guess. It didn't make her a record, so then when Philip and I started talking about songs, we thought, well, we're going to put a little R&B on this record. If it's a Rick Huckabee record, but yeah, there's going to be a little bit of that in there. So. So we hope you like our version of it, y'all. This is closer to you. It goes like this. years of uh, torturing Marsha or marriage on stage with Tanya Tucker and here she is y'all thank you y'all give it up for the love of Miss Marsha Ramirez tonight
accidentally almost pushed her off a riser one night. Sorry about that, Marshall.